Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will understand about the barrel calorimeter. Here, calorimeter is used to determine the dryness fraction of the wet stream. Here, this is the diagram of the barrel calorimeter as you can see here. And this barrel calorimeter is filled with the known quantity of water. And here from this steam pipe, we add in this the known quantity of wet steam. Okay, and here the steam nozzle as you can see, here this is the control wall, here it is a thermometer to measure the temperature of our mixture, that is this one, here this is the insulation, and here this is water, and this is the platform, okay. As I have told you, this barrel calendar is filled with the known quantity of water, and we added in this the known quantity of Steam. Okay, and this steam after addition of this steam, this steam gets condensed in this water, and because of this, there is the increase in mass and mass and temperature of water. There is increase in mass and temperature of water. In this process, heat is lost by the steam. Okay, and heat is gained by the water. So, we need to add, equalize these two terms that is, heat loss by wet steam is equal to heat gained by water in calorimeter to calculate the dryness fraction. Okay, so understood here to calculate the dryness fraction, we need to equalize the heat loss by wet steam and heat gained by water in calorimeter. Okay, now further here, heat loss by wet steam is given by M steam into bracket XHFG plus CPW into bracket Tsat minus T2. Here, M steam is the mass of steam, X is the dryness fraction, HFG is the latent heat of a steam. CPW is here specific heat of water in kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Tsat is the saturation temperature and T2 is the final temperature. Further, now heat gained by water in calorimeter is given by this form, this equation that is MC CPC plus MW CPW bracket closed into bracket again T2 minus T1. Okay, here. This MC is the mass of barrel calorimeter and CPC is the specific heat of barrel calorimeter which is measured in kilojoule per kg Kelvin. MW is the mass of water filled in calorimeter and CPW is the specific heat of water. Here T2 is the final temperature and T1 is final temperature of water okay t2 is the final temperature of water and t1 is the initial temperature of water okay now as you can see here we have equalized these two formulas and after equalizing we will simplify this formula and we get here x that is dynamic fraction is equal to this formula that is here into bracket MCCPC plus MWCPW bracket closed into bracket again T2 minus T1 whole bracket closed minus M steam into bracket again M steam CPW bracket into bracket T set minus T2 bracket whole bracket closed upon M steam HFG. Okay. So students in this video we have understood about the barrel calorimeter. Thank you students for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.